Yesterday I got these Roller Rabbit pyjamas that are always sold out so I'm so lucky to get my hands on them. I really wanted to do a video letting you guys know how they are, like a review kind of thing because before I was trying to buy them I could not find a YouTube video on these pyjamas like going into detail about them. There's no shops here, you can't just like go and try them on and stuff and I didn't know anyone that had them so I'm going to try and be the video that I wanted to find. They're not how I expected them to be honestly and that's not a bad thing necessarily but I don't know, they're just... I don't know. I'm gonna let you all know. So I got these pajamas from Shopbop. It's basically an online website. I'm not sure that they have any actual stores, but um, they do loads of brands. It's actually really cool. Like kind of like has lots of like boutiques and stuff that are similar to Roller Rabbit. I've never shopped there before, mainly because they do do international shipping and stuff like that. But it costs loads to return. Like I think it's like forty pound for returns. So it's kind of a gamble getting these because if they didn't fit, like I'm not about to pay. Well, I mean I would have, but. I didn't really want to pay £40 just to return them because I was like really expensive when most places like Revolve and stuff do free returns like it's just normal these days to have free returns because it was like the only option I basically just like had no choice but to buy them this is the packaging that it came in it's really cute like pink packet I don't know if they do that for every order or not because I've never ordered from there just because it's like the returns situation this bag just had like everything in and it has one of those weird mineral things no one really knows what they're for i really didn't know what size i was i've never had anything from roller rabbit before i tried to like message some friends and stuff and ask what size they got they're all kind of like different like size people so i didn't know like what size i should get because i don't know anyone that's like the same like height and like body type as me i'm usually like a size small it really depends if there was no size small and I had to choose between an extra small and a medium. I'd probably get a medium just because I don't know. I don't know, I just probably would. I thought a small would be too small for me. I'm usually like a six or eight in UK sizing, so that's like a two or a four in US sizing. But these were just extra small, small, or medium. So I didn't know what to get. Um, I, I really didn't want to get small and then it come and be too small on me and then have to pay £40 for returns. I decided that a medium is probably going to be too big so i got a small and this is what they look like basically it's like quite a long like tunic style top and these are not for teenagers and stuff they are for like grown adults as well like i know like grown adults wear these and like a lot of roller rabbit stuff that isn't pajamas is for like you know like actual old women not old women but you know what i mean like not people my age that sounded so mean anyway that I just wanted to say like that's why it's not like cropped probably because it's meant for people that are like older as well who like don't really wear cropped stuff. Let me show you the legs. That's what they look like on me. I'm quite tall, I'm like 5'7 I think. I feel like the sleeves are very short on me which is fine because I like to wear jewellery and it's annoying when sleeves are long because it like you know you can't see the jewellery or it's like it's really hard to get jewellery on and off and sleeves on and off and stuff like that. I don't think it looks weird that the sleeves are short and the legs are like they're not short because a lot of times I get trousers, especially the ones from Brandy Melville, and they're really too short on me, like I cannot wear them. But then if it was someone that was like 5'4", then they would look long, so it's weird. That's the way it is. But I think that the arms and the legs are short enough that it's like trendy, like it doesn't look weird, it just looks cropped. I think that for a size small, these are actually quite big. Like they are quite, not oversized, but they're just not small, like they're not tight. I thought that on me, they would be quite tight. They fit, but they're like also loose. And like the trousers are kind of weird. I need to talk about this because they're not high-waisted, but like you can pull them up to make them high-waisted. The top is so long that it covers them anyway, but they're not high-waisted. Like they're not, they don't cinch in at the waist unless you like pull them up. Yeah, I don't really know what to say about that. That's just the way that they fit. But like obviously you can like pull them up or you can just wear them on your hips. But obviously that alters the like length at the ankle, if that makes sense. Um. See, I'm not very good at doing reviews. I just don't even know what to say. They're also quite, like, loose on your legs. Like, I, like, I don't have skinny legs, like, not, like, naturally. I thought that they would be really tight on my legs, and that's why I was, something that I was really worried about getting a size small, but, like, they're fine. They're actually quite flattering. Like, they do make you look quite skinny, so that's good. I don't know. They're pyjamas, like, who cares? I know that people wear them out, which is, like, completely fine. Like, I probably wouldn't just because I'd get, like, massively judged. That's the thing. At the end of the day, they are just pyjamas. They're meant to be comfy. They're not going to be tight. So, yeah, I think maybe, like, if you're not sure that you're going to 
bit like maybe if you're in between sizes like a small and medium I would go for the smaller size that's just my opinion but obviously like I'm quite tall and thin like you know like that's my friend that's just my experience with these pajamas and I do really like them one thing I wanted to talk about is the material I've never seen them in person before I've only sort of seen them online and looked at them online because they're always sold out I expected them to be like cotton material like I'm trying to think, you know, if you went to Urban Outfitters and got a t-shirt, it's not going to be very high quality, it's not going to be like, you know, it's just going to be cotton. I don't know how to describe that, it's just like that material that you get usually on a t-shirt. And when they came I was really shocked actually because they weren't that material. The way I would describe it is like a pair of leggings. It feels like lycra, like when I first opened it I was really shocked because I thought they were just going to be like a t-shirt and they weren't. It is stretchy. You obviously wouldn't want it to be stretched because then it would stretch the like design. At first I was like these feel like a pair of like Lululemon leggings and I'd read reviews online that said they were really soft and stuff and like I can see why people think that it just is a strange material like it's really thin you would think they would be quite like thick brushed cotton almost like pajamas. I wore them last night and it's been like sub-zero here and I wasn't freezing. I was like hot, I was warm so yeah, I don't know. I just thought it was a really weird material and I wasn't expecting that. Another negative thing that I experienced with these is that the seam is really weird. Like there are seams down the legs and seams down the front. So when you're trying to put them on, it is so confusing because I'm used to only having one seam. So I keep putting like my leg in the wrong leg hole and stuff like that. And also the tag on these is tiny and it's white and the inside of the trousers is white. You can't find it. Like I'm pretty sure that I wore these backwards last night. Honestly, it doesn't really matter because I'm sure that they're basically the same on both sides that's just like like I'm picking flaws right now like this it's not a big deal but I'm just trying to think of you know like cons to getting these another con they're quite expensive for pajamas normally I'll just wear like an oversized t-shirt to sleep in it's like you pay for the design you pay for the name and stuff like that so yeah I really like them overall and I think I would recommend Shopbop when I ordered from Shopbop they had 15% off I'm pretty sure it was if you like were a first time order from the app then you get 15% off so I don't think it's like something that only lasts for a few weeks I think this is like a long term offer so if you're gonna order them and you live in America or somewhere where you don't get charged for the all the shipping and international stuff it would probably be good to order from here because a they were in stock and b it was 15% off so it was really great but for me the 15% off didn't really make a difference because by the time they added on all the taxes and stuff like that it was basically back up to the normal amount I think that's basically everything that I have to say about them like honestly there isn't a lot to say like they're just pajamas I wanted to make the video because they weren't how I expected them to be and that's kind of what I was trying to find out before I bought them like I needed a video like this to tell me how they were gonna be and stuff because I'm like someone that does a lot of research before I buy things so I couldn't find that video but hopefully this video helped you guys if you're in the same situation as me if you have any questions you can comment them and I'll try to answer and yeah I hope that you enjoyed I hope you like the pajamas if you get them and let me know what you think and I'll see you guys in the next video